There's a story in Key West about a treasure hunter who spent most of his life underwater searching for a lost Spanish galleon off the coast of Florida. Everyone thought this guy was crazy. But he woke up every day and told his crew, today's the day. In 1985, after 16 years of searching, Mel Fisher and his crew found the Atosha. Along with it, $450 million worth of gold and silver treasure. A bartender told me he used to see Mel bar hopping up and down Duval Street, casually wearing the outrageous chains and jewels he found on the ship. This is exactly the kind of stuff I love. And just one of seemingly endless anecdotes about Key West. Something about this place has always attracted free thinkers and rebels. Hemingway famously lived here in the 30s, along with his pack of six-toed cats. And Jimmy Buffett still drops into Margaritaville from time to time. It's safe to say that if you live here, you're probably living life by your own set of rules and having a great time doing it. After all, this might not even be the United States. Locals refer to it as the Conk Republic and they're not overly concerned about what's happening on the mainland. Key West is fiercely committed to the idea of casual, and that attitude is what makes it such a fun place to visit, especially with family. I even had my own parents come join me for the weekend, and we had a great time. The food here is its own brand of deep fried fun. Conch fritters, street corn, crab claws, Cuban chicken, and of course the crown jewel of regional dishes, key lime pie. There's also the nightlife that in my hungover opinion rivals New Orleans in terms of wheels off partying. Local favorite bar, the Green Parrot, probably sells more beer in a night than any place I've ever seen. And I'm from Texas. There's definitely something addicting about this place. When a tourist comes here and keeps coming back, they say you've got Keys disease. And I'm pretty sure I'm at high risk. But my favorite Key West saying of all is a poem I found engraved on the sidewalk across from the Hemingway house. It reads, of writers and poets and pirates who walk the dirt beneath this slab, each carrying a pocket full of dreams, and none as unusual as yours, but all of which came true. I'm Jen Rose Smith, and this is Key West in a hot minute.